G'day guys, Ben from Ozyak here to bring you another video. This one's going to be looking at how we handle our catch and keep our catch on our kayak whilst we're going back into shore. So we all know the big pelagic species are the ones we all chase. Cobia, wahoo, Spanish mackerel, large uh, tuna, those kind of fish. Okay, And most people are also aware on a kayak like this there isn't a whole lot of room to put them. That creates a problem, especially as we all know cobia and wahoo uh, and Spanish mackerel have a big mouth full of fangs that can do a lot of damage. You need to have respect for these fish and it's not unheard of for them to take people's hands and feet off. Absolutely serious. So one of the things that I was able to do is I basically went around to a, uh, a metal fabricators and I picked up some scrap marine grade aluminium and I've made this fish cradle. It's not the first time these things have been done. They have been done for a few years now and it just simply slots. So I have a Scotty rod mount on the bottom, which I've bolted on, and that just slots straight onto my Scotty rod mount, and that's now locked in position. Very easily, fish goes on like so, straps go over the fish, and that'll keep him there while I paddle in. Really simple, and it keeps the mouth of the fish and the teeth away from my feet and my hands. Righty you guys. Well thanks for watching. I'm going to be building my YouTube channel with an average of two videos per week, eventually covering all sorts of topics on kayak fishing from reviews of gear, reviews of kayaks, location reports, even hook and cook type uh, ideas for you. I'm looking forward to any comments or suggestions you might have. Please leave a comment below or you can message me directly through YouTube. If you liked the video, please like it. Please feel free to share this video on other social media such as Facebook or uh, Twitter. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, tight lines and stay safe.